Hi everyone, quick update. This week, um, got my new passport, so I was able to finally apply properly for the French visa. And now I'm in this more waiting game, trying to get my appointment. So you apply and then you have to uh, schedule an appointment to go in person with all of your documents to a French embassy in the place that you live. So in my case, it'll be in the US. And uh, I was thinking I would do this on the way back from France in May. Um, but I can't seem to uh, schedule an appointment. They only seem to do appointments about two months in advance. So I can only do an appointment. Right now I can get an appointment in February. So I thought about doing that, sort of going, oh, great, I can do it in February. But then the problem is you have to surrender your passport when you... Um, leave them with your documents and then they send it all back to you once they've approved you. So that meant that if I did it in February, I wouldn't be able to go to France as planned. So I decided to wait and do it in May, but now I can't get an appointment because they don't have them listed yet, I think. I hope. I hope that's the problem, but I'm not even sure that's the problem. And then I don't know how long it is once you've had the appointment towards. Um, you know, in terms of getting the documents back and then you're free to go back to France. So uh, anyway, it all just, you know, I think it could have been faster. Like I could have absolutely done this in in February and waited and then just gone back in, in March. Hopefully I would have had the papers by then. But, um, but I made this decision to just go back instead. So now I'm yeah, I probably shot myself in the foot, but whatever. Anyhow, that's where I'm at with that. Um, going back in weeks, I'm very excited. Um, up most evenings, no, most nights at four o'clock in the morning, thinking about kitchen floors and all of that. I've been watching Billy Pethrick of the Pethricks channel as he's been doing his kitchen floor. And uh, it seems quite involved. I didn't realize there was so many layers that you had to put down. So um, I might be hitting him up to see uh, if he can give me a better explanation as to all the piece, all the layers. There's plastic and insulation. Granted, he's putting in heated floors, but I feel like if I were to do the kitchen floors, that might be an option. Anyhow. Um, in other news, I took Chloe to the vet, so hopefully I'll get the vet certificate back from, you have to, the vet gives you a certificate and then you have to send it off to a government agency having to do with vets <laughs> and exports. Um, so I should get that back before we leave. And then uh, she'll be all set. So she's had a new rabies and a new distemper shot. So she's all good to go. Um, yeah, so gearing up and uh, trying to finish this painting behind me. Um, it's the one that I was painting in, I don't know, one of the videos last week, but I'm finding it a little blah, I don't know. It's not, somehow the colors got all gray and boring. So continuing to work on it today, we'll see what happens. I think I might put it on the floor and do some drippy drippy paint. So <laughs> that should be fun. Okay, and maybe I'll film that, I don't know. I can uh, figure out how to set it all up again. <laughs> okay, a bientôt. me through the heart and your touch is like fire that will burn my skin I wish that